Team Angel Prudential Preferred Property presents the Gulf South quarterfinal game of the week. Proudly brought to you by Morgan Pontiac, Buick GMC Truck, located I-220 and Benton Road in Bossier next to Airline High School. Tonight, Wine. the Vikings play host to the West Monroe Rebels. It's a 5A quarterfinal shootout. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Cox Sports Television's Game of the Week, the Gulf South Game of the Week. We'll push back. McCain Rock number four. Not a place to sit tonight, and uh, you'll have fans standing all around the fences. Well, they've opened up an off end zone for standing room only, and they'll need it because there's not going to be a seat left here at Viking Stadium. These two teams played earlier in the season. West Monroe won the game 13 to 10, but had to intercept the pass in the end zone with 25 seconds to go to preserve the victory in a game that Airline led 10 to nothing. Let's go down now well, and meet the third member of our crew as we go down to Melbourne. Thanks, guys. I'm down here. You can obviously see that it's a very windy night, but we're getting some football weather out here. It's a little damp from the storm that passed through this week, but that's not going to stop these guys. The crowd is fired up. The stands are full. It's almost standing room only at this point, and we're ready to see some fireworks tonight. Guys? Thank you, Melanie. This will back. We'll preview the Royal Rebels and the Wine in Bossier City. It's the Gulf South High School game of the week. The Louisiana Friday night. One hundred and nineteen million dollars. That's how much we could save annually right here in Louisiana if we all asked for generics when we filled our prescriptions. That's one reason Blue Cross is working with doctors and pharmaceutical companies to educate consumers on the benefits of asking for generics instead of brand name drugs. The high cost of health care affects us all. Let's all work together to make health care work for Louisiana. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, seeking solutions together. Your family tree just got a whole lot bigger. Now that Singular has joined forces with AT&T Wireless to bring you the largest calling community in America. Talk to any Singular or AT&T Wireless customer for free. Hey, what's going on? All 46 million of them. Add a member of your family tree to ours for just $9.99. The new Singular, raising the bar. That looks good. Sure is. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't get to choose what came in my kid's meal. Why? Well, it just came with fries. They didn't offer those juicy little mandarin oranges. Why? Well, that's just the way it was. Uh, didn't get to pick between chocolate milk, white milk, or soft drink. Maybe back then they didn't think you were capable of making an decision. Point taken. It's meal. Now the choices that make everyone happy. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by Cajun Constructors, a general contractor specializing in McAllen Civil Construction, Baton Rouge, Dallas, and Houston. By Practice Convenience Store, the convenience store of Louisiana, Chris Sadler and Jim Bickley, Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores. And pictures all across Louisiana on the website of Bushmack Photography at flashpicksphoto.com. Welcome back, everybody. The Rainbow Automotive family, an American revolution. How many rainbow plates have you seen lately? Rambo, rainbow in La Place, Louisiana, Rainbow Chevrolet. Welcome back, everybody. The West Monroe Rebels and the Airline Vikings getting set to battle in Bossier City. We're glad that you have joined us from Lubbock, Texas to Gainesville, Florida with Rob Bushmack. I'm Dennis McKay. Rob, the Rebels come in just an hour and a half away, and you know, they're used to being in this quarterfinal game. Well, they won seven. They played in seven of the last eight state championship games down in New Orleans. Their last time they won a title was in 2000, but this team, 12 and 0, ranked 17th nationally by one of the high school goals, and the team is very, very good. So, one of the players that you can look for on that team, there's always a Banks on the team. Well, Brandon Banks, their fullback, was injured for three weeks, but he's back now. Rushed uh, on the season for 695 yards. Uh, last week, 124 yards on only eight carries and scored a touchdown in West Monroe. Down early last week to Shaw 13 up, but down Charles got his guys recovered. They went on to win it 37-13 and Banks a big part of that. Glad to have him back. 
For the airline Vikings playing host tonight to the Rebels, Cordero Green can carry the mail. Well, Cordero Green, he's carried it all year long. 1,253 yards, 17 touchdowns, had 184 yards and two touchdowns last week for Mike Green's squad. 8-3, they come in, they've won two. Their first two playoff teams on the road, their first playoff game at home in Dennis. We talk about West Monroe has been there a lot. West Monroe has been there seven of the last eight times in a championship game. Airline hasn't been in a quarterfinal game in 10 years. So it's uh, experience against not a lot of experience, but uh, Airline's a heck of a team. We said it when we saw them earlier in the year. It's not a team you want to play in the first round, but here they are in the third round. That first game this year won by the West Monroe Rebels, but it's a new season now, and the loser goes home. The winner will move on to the semifinals. From Bossier City, Louisiana, the Gulf South High School Game of the Week. When we come back, more pregame activities and the kickoff on Cox Sports Television. Hi everybody, Victor Howell along with Brian Kenshin and we'd like to invite you to join us each and every Saturday night at 10 o'clock right here on Cox Sports Television for college football tonight. We'll look at the big games around the country, around the region, and especially here in the state as we turn games inside and out and look at them every which way and figure out who's the best in college football. Highlights, analysis, and more on Cox Sports Television each and every Saturday night from 10 to 11 o'clock. We invite you to join us for college football tonight. We'll see you then. No crunches ever. Introducing the Ab Lounge, scientifically designed to get you up off the floor, making old-fashioned crunches a thing of the past. Sculpt your abdominals using the Ab Lounge Jackknife, proven in university testing to be better for your body. It's as easy as a crunch, but the Ab Lounge design makes every move really count, targeting your abs without wasted effort. Compare the Ab Lounge to an old-fashioned crunch. The advanced Ab Lounge Jackknife generates up to 75% more muscle activity in the upper and lower abdominals, and an amazing 268% more in the love handle obliques. I have this one pair of jeans. After just eight weeks, my fat jeans don't really fit anymore. With its rolled steel frame, the Avalon supports 275. And it's so almost anyone can use it. Call now to try the Avalon for 30 days for just $14.95. If you don't agree, the Avalon is the best way to a sexy stomach. Return it within 30 days for a refund of your $14.95. Call now and say goodbye to crunches forever. It's never too early to start thinking about the bowl season. Lee, what were your thoughts? Your Sheraton. Oh, what a spectacular game. Hawaii over Houston in triple overtime. And I'm telling you what, you don't want to miss this year's Sheridan Hawaii Bowl on December the 24th. Lee, thanks for your thoughts. Wait a minute, sure. my friend. Not so fast, my friend. I'm making an early prediction. Don't be left out in the cold. Get to the Aloha Stadium for the Sheridan Hawaii Bowl. For tickets, call 808-944-2697 or log on to SheratonHawaiiBowl.com. Well, we get here in game time is near. Sit back, relax, and a beer, keep your chair. Talk sports, television, makers, and bright. It's a Louisiana Friday night. Well, it's okay to rob a bus back. Melody Webster down on the track. Damn the roll and catching all the highlights. It's a Louisiana Friday night. Welcome back, everybody. You were looking just moments ago at West Monroe as they charged on the field, and then the Vikings took the field in Bossier. It's a 5A quarterfinal game, and a big win, Rob Bushmack from Bossier. Well, what an atmosphere here. They started coming in about 4 o'clock this afternoon, barbecue pits and radios, watching the LSU-Arkansas game, got them fired up a chilly night in near Freeport, Bossier, right across the, the river from Freeport, Louisiana. You saw the skyline. Uh, before we went to break, but uh, we're ready to go, and West Monroe won the toss and elected to defer to the second half, so Airline will get the football first. Good look at head coach Mike Green, and boy, has this club come to play the last few weeks of the season. They've got it together, and at the right time of the year, as we mentioned, first time in a state quarterfinal game in 10 years, and that man right there has done an outstanding job here. Speaking of outstanding jobs, what can you say? Don Shell, the head coach, and what a program he's built there. And, Nearly a dynasty. They've played in seven of the last eight championship games. Their last championship game it wins in 2000, and we're underway. Nugent kicks it away, and it goes into the end zone. The airline Vikings will start from their own 20-yard line on a Louisiana Friday night. Good evening, everybody. With Rob Bushmack, I'm Dennis McCain, and we are glad that you have joined us. The offensive front for airline, Will Cook, Brandon Millen, 
Brad Bernard, Scott Hayes, and John Warren. A good offensive front that opens up the holes for Cardero Green. And the skill people, Andre Allen, Cardero Green, Kyle Vines, Alex Bowles, and Morgan Fayard. And starting at quarterback tonight, Blaine Taylor came back in the bar game after one quarter. And Blaine Taylor, an outstanding talent, good size, and, and an excellent athlete will run the offense. Glass, uh, Zach Glass was injured. And Blaine Taylor has taken over at quarterback for Airline. Well, the Vikings of Airline High School will be in their dark uh, navy shirts tonight with their white pants, navy headgear, the Rebels in gray pants, their navy headgear, and their white jerseys. Up under center, Taylor is moving out to the right side with the ball, and the Rebels are chasing him out there, and they get him after a gain of about one as the flag comes in. It was Ernest or Ernst and Blackwell on the tackle for the Rebels of West Monroe. Might be a face mask. Five yard face mask on the defense. Still be first down. Five yards. Five Rebel yards. defense. We'll check that. That's the Rebel offense. We'll come back and show you the defense. Jumping the gun a little bit. The Rebels got to play a little defense before they can get the football. So the penalty makes it now first down, and the important thing there is that they get the down over. They get the five yards, and so it sets up a first down and five to go for the Vikings of Airline High School as they come in, and they have a wide receiver out to the left and one to the right on the set and put a man in motion, and they'll hand it straight. Oh, and there, there are a lot of Rebels in there. Green has nowhere to go. Ernst and Blackwell again for West Monroe. And the Rebel defense in front. Sniffed that one out out of the huddle as they were all over. Green and Taylor, let's take a look at that Rebel defense. Blackwell, Matt Slocum, he'll play anywhere he wants on Saturdays. Luther Jackson and Kyle Ernst. The linebackers, Hardy, Keot, Preston, and C.C. Carpenter. And the defensive backs, Van Buren, Clemens, and Scott Love. Love had the interception to preserve the win in the end zone the last time these two teams met five weeks ago. Motion this time out to the left and a pitch out out there. And once again, the Rebels pursue very nicely out there. And that was James with the ball and he's down, down right at the line of scrimmage. And so they'll put it down and set up a third down situation. Third down and about seven to go. It was Carpenter who knocked him down. Just underway, 10.26 to go in the first quarter. We're in Bossier City, Louisiana up in northeast, northwest Louisiana, and we got a football night, partner, for, uh, we're wearing uh, the turtlenecks and the pullovers, and it's, uh, of course, we're inside, but outside, it's uh, a good, pretty good wind and, uh, and a chilly night. A very good wind, Old Glory standing straight out on a Louisiana Friday night as we get a rollout by Taylor, and he throws the ball, and it's tipped up in the air and incomplete. Good coverage, and it was Van Buren, Marcus Van Buren, who was on the coverage and the ball is tipped away and incomplete. So West Monroe's defense has held and we'll get the football back for the offense and that's what they want to do. They deferred the opening kickoff, held West, held airline to three and out and should get pretty good field position. The wind will be blowing straight into the punter's face as the wind blowing hard out of the southeast. Van Buren is the young man who is back for West Monroe, and he'll feel the ball Bumble. and then drop it, and then there'll be a pileup, and it looked like Van Buren got on the football at the 46-yard line. Very dangerous, though, as it hit Van Buren and bounced away, uh, but the Rebels get it, and they'll go on the attack at their own 47-yard line. And let's take a look at the offensive front, and boy, what a good one it is. Knox, Shapley, Stout, Winchester, and Foreman, and a big offensive front. Back to receivers Gooden, Banks, Middleton, Crawford, and Robinson. And the quarterback, Drew Thomas. He's led the Rebels all year long. He's thrown for 13 touchdowns, rushed for 11. Thrown for 1,127 yards and rushed for over 500. There's a look at Brandon Banks. Injured for three weeks, he's back. Came back last week, as we mentioned, 124 yards rushing on the ground. And, 
And there's the quarterback, Drew Thomas. His season stats, as we mentioned, he's also rushed for 526 yards and ran for 11 touchdowns. So, pretty steady hand wearing number 11 for the Rebels. And a very familiar formation by the Rebels. The ball is on the ground, and they're fighting for it. Two Vikings and a Rebel, but I believe the Rebel got it. As uh, that uh, ball was recovered back at the 45-yard line, Gooden fell on the ball, and he did a good job recovering it because two Vikings were charging in. And the Cajun Constructors replay, you'll see it right there. Thomas tried the late pitch, and Jerome Moore lit him up. Lucky to recover that one, so West Monroe fumbles the punt, gets back on it, fumbles their first play from scrimmage, gets back on it. And they lose two, so second and 12 for the Rebels. They'll play it from their own 46-yard line, and uh, the hole opens up on the left side, and Gooden comes slamming through the hole, and he has a nice gain on second down in to Viking territory to the 46-yard line. And Millen, Hayes, Smith, and Easter up front to go against the West Monroe offensive front, and the linebackers, Glover and Hart, and the secondary, Beveridge, Bradford, Montgomery, and Matt Taylor, Matt Taylor will be playing D1 football somewhere in America next year on Saturday. Travis good Williams one. was the young man from airline who made the tackle. Third down, coming up third down, and three be before the snap of Well, flag. you can make that third and eight. Is uh, going to come flying in, and the Rebels will walk. Uh, they'll retreat, and the play will be good on foul. Now. Offense in the neutral zone, false start, five yards. Good look at Don Chow there. What a competitor he is, and you can see it right there. He's not happy at all. And that's a penalty you see a lot. If you line up the neutral zone, they call it in instantly, and there's no adjusting your stance from the 49-yard line. Third down now, and uh, this time it will be third down and about seven and a half to go. And the Rebels will put intercepted. it in the air. It's intercepted. Intercepted by the Vikings inside the 40. It's still going inside the 30. Inside the touchdown. The touchdown for the Vikings. It was Chad Beveridge who got it for airline. And Beveridge goes the distance. And just that quick, the Vikings have taken the lead. Seven it up and a happy bunch of Viking fans here on the home side. And Beveridge, not a lot of speed, but enough to get into the end zone. Right in front of the intended receiver, and a nice run by Beveridge as he cuts it to the middle of the field and then takes it home for the Vikings. And here it is again, right here. Thomas just tries to throw the quick slant, and he steps right in front of it, makes one cut right there, and he's off to the races. Touchdown, Vikings! The extra point coming for airline in the air, and good. And so Leslie kicks it through, and the Vikings have opened up a 7 0 lead on the Team Angel Morgan Pontiac Buick GMC truck. Gulf South High School Game of the Week from Bossier City, Louisiana. What's driving up the cost of health care? Well, the truth is, many things are causing health care costs to rise like having an ear infection treated in the emergency room. That cost about six times more than going to the doctor's office. The high cost of health care affects us all. Let's all work together to make health care work for Louisiana. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, seeking solutions together. Fireworks early on, and the fireworks by the defense of Airline High School and once again, the Vikings uh, look fired up in the contest. Well, they do, and of course, an interception. Touchdown will do. But Airline, an early lead as the defense comes up with a big one. So the Rebels will get the ball for the second time as Leslie will kick it. Derek Leslie from his own 40. Pooch kick. And that just comes up to one of the uh, up men that time, Middleton. And uh, Middleton uh, calls the fair catch at the 25. So the Rebels will play it from uh, their own 25-yard line. 
This is uh, what high school football is all about. And of course, 5A, the highest class in the state of Louisiana, the quarterfinal game. We started out with 32 teams in five classes, and now we are down to eight teams in five classes, and games are being played tonight all across Louisiana. Well, a chilly night all over Louisiana, but as you mentioned, quarterfinals in five classifications tonight. Some big games. Another one here in the Shreveport area, and Bossier will host John Curtis in a 4A game. And down south, the Hanzo Tigers, the defending class 5A champion, will be at Slide L on offshore near the Big Easy. And the Evangel Eagles will be at East St. John down in LaPlante. Some big games all over the state. Thomas uh, wants to run that option again, but he won't run it to the left side because Travis Williams is stepping in there, and down he goes for a loss of a yard on first down, maybe a loss of uh, two on first down as they mark the ball just across the 23. Well, second and 12. For the Rebels, 7.23 to go in the first quarter, and Airline leads it on a defensive interception for a touchdown. 48 yards. Thanks. By Chad Neverage. Thanks to the fullback in close. Gooden is back behind him. Not quite as far as West Monroe used to play the tailback. Look right out! Here. And Gooden is running on the afterburners, and he has speed down the sideline. One man can get him, and he does. But a big run by Gooden all the way down to the 21-yard line. Brought down by Andre Allen, and Allen, Allen turned on the afterburners and got Gooden. But uh, Gooden fired out of a cannon that time. Thomas did a good job of reading it. Watch right here. Watch how quick the pitch. Read it, pitch. No one there, and Gooden is off to the race. Bob, years ago, we asked uh, Coach Shows about that formation with a tailback deep, and he says he can get to the spot from that deep formation as well as being in a spot that you normally see a tailback line up in. And timeout, airline. All right, the Vikings have called a timeout on the Team Angel Morgan Pontiac Buick GMC Truck High School Game of the Week. Tonight's game, everybody, is being brought to you in part from Bossier by Burnside Building Remodeling, family-owned and operated general contractors serving the area for all of your construction, new homes, and remodeling needs. And also by James Wiggins Allstate Insurance at 530 Benton Road in Bossier City, representing Allstate customers for 18 and a half years, offering home, auto life, and commercial insurance. And also Montgomery Agency, and Southern Interiors. Southern Interior Supply, locally owned and operated, providing the area with the finest commercial construction materials for over 50 years in Montgomery Agency, providing professional, courteous service for all of your insurance needs, locally owned and operated since 1946 with four generations of experience and a fifth generation on Airlines Field, number 41, Jordan Montgomery. So Mike Green wanted a deep a timeout to set the defense. And they're ready to go now. From the 22-yard line, Banks has it this time, and the big man lumbers with it inside the 20. And he dives down to the 17. Williams and Hayes. Scott Hayes in on the tackle for the Vikings of West Monroe. Or of Airline High. An injury down on the field for looks like number 46. Michael Smith, slow to get up. Well, that defensive line of airline, Robin, very well, and we certainly wish that young man the best as they tend to him. And we tell you that tonight's game is also being brought to you in part by Mosley Rogers Title Company and also Hampton Inns and Suites. And that's uh, Lance Mosley at Mosley Rogers Title Company at Hampton Inns and Suites. It's Eddie Jacobs and uh, all of the fine gang in New Orleans. That's where we stay when we go to the Big Easy. And then we'll be staying there in a couple of weeks for the Superdome Classic as the 
Injury still being tended to, and let's finally up. And looks like his left ankle, and we'll have some assistance coming off. But good to see him up on his own two feet and trying to make it off on his own. Big time player for airlines. He's a fine one on that defensive line. Second down as we set the situation. Second down and five to go for West Monroe. So they go to the big guy Banks that time, the fullback, and he picks up five yards and sets up a second down and five. And Thomas has two running backs behind him. And this time he'll keep the ball and cut through a hole and then just lean down to the 10 yard line. A hard run and a first down. First down and goal to go right at the 10 yard line for the Rebels. Well, the good thing for West Monroe is he got the first down. The good thing for Airline is that they can't get another first down. I think the hardest point on the field to score from the nine and a half yard line. And in this case, it's the 10 and that makes it just about a half yard well, just in, a ball inside. Well, you know yeah. what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. From the 10-yard line, here we go again as Thomas calls his signals and gives it to Banks, and Banks is submarining in there. Down to the 7-yard line, give Banks three yards on first down. Well, there's no way that Banks can submarine at that side. That's the battleship coming through there. That's <laughs> not a submarine. It was Esther, Justin Esther, who was... The young man for airline who had to meet Banks as he was well, I piling be, through the line. I wouldn't want to meet him. Second down, and the Rebels have seven to go, trailing seven to nothing on a Louisiana Friday night. Thomas, here's the option play again to the five, and just two yards that time as. The right side of the defensive line, Beveridge, Chad Beveridge stepped in that time and knocked the quarterback Thomas to the ground right at the five yard line. Mike Green giving some defensive instructions. He knows how big this play is right here. Third and five and a half. The airline Vikings are defending and the Rebels of West Monroe attacking and they're trying to tie it up. That man right there wants to see his offense pop it in right here and get this thing even again. Viking fans up on their feet. There's the pitch to Gooden at the goal line, and he is shooting through two of the Vikings into the end zone as he splits a foot down. So Gooden, same play he picked up the big gainer on earlier in the drive. This time he only needs five and a half, and he gets it. And we're an extra point away from... Being back to where we started. Well, two of the Vikings were standing there at the goal line, but uh, Gooden just split them right in the middle and into the end zone he went. The extra point would tie the game. Bobble stop, no good. And the pile up. Well, you can't run it back in high school ball, but it's no good. The extra point is no good, and so Airline keeps the lead. But the Rebels put six on the board. With 4.30 to go, seven to six, Airline High School. Good. First of day. We'll be back. Your family just got a whole lot bigger. Now that Singular has joined forces with AT&T Wireless to bring you the largest calling community in America. Talk to any Singular or AT&T Wireless customer for free. Can I ask someone to pass the gravy? All 46 million of them. Now with Family Talk, add a member of your family to ours for just $9.99 a line. The new Singular, raising the bar. Welcome back, everybody, and some happy West Monroe fans right now as their Rebels put six on the board. We have a good one going. Well, this is a lot of scoring compared to last time, Dennis. Uh, West Monroe didn't scratch for the fourth quarter in the last contest, and only 23 points scored in the entire game last time, but here we've got 13 in the first quarter, and we're only halfway through that. 
the kickoff is going to Green, and Green is straight up the middle. He has a little running room, and he's looking for more. He's out past the 40 to the 45. Cordero Green. Flag on the play, and it's late, and this ain't going to be pretty. Terry Carter. This is going to be 15, and it's going to be on airline for unsportsmanlike after. Terry Jack Carter foul, ran him down. foul on the receiving team, 15 yards. And that's a killer. So it'll be 15 yards from the end of the play. No, it'll be from where the spot of the foul was. So that's going to put it back around the 15-yard line. They would have been at the 40. Five. Here's a look at it again right here. They will mark it off. They're going to say it was after the play and not during, so they will mark it off to the 45. You can see Green shooting through. And let's go down to the field. Melanie Wester has an injury report. All right, guys, I have an injury report for number 46 for airline team. They're taping up his left knee right now, and he's ready to go back in the game. So let's get back. Michael Smith will be back. Taylor to throw it. Tipped up into the air and almost picked off by the Rebels as that ball was tipped by one of the Rebels that time. So airline starts at the 30-yard line. They added up the, at the 45 after the return, but still a good field position for the Vikings. A lot of action so far in the first quarter, and we still have over four minutes to go. The Vikings come up to the line of scrimmage and they have a man that is split out to the left and a receiver out to the right. And here is the pitch out out to the left side and a gain of maybe three on the play as they pitch at that time to Zachary Glass and Keaton hitting for West Monroe. Zach Glass on the season. 111 carries, 502 yards, four touchdowns, and played some quarterback, was injured at quarterback, now in at running back. As Taylor has done a pretty good job of taking over since the first quarter of the first round of the playoffs. Taylor was the starter early in the season, was injured, and last came in for him, and now they switch back. Vines is out this way as a receiver, and the quarterback will keep the ball for airline, and that will be... A first down for the Vikings over the 40-yard line. Taylor, Taylor did a nice job there. Saw the uh, the weak side of the field was open. Took it himself. So the junior has the Vikings on the move. Michael Smith getting some instruction there. They retake him back up. He'll be back in the game. Green is behind Taylor in the backfield, and they'll put a man in motion, and they'll hand it straight ahead to Green, and there's no room to go there as the Rebels swarm on him at the 41-yard line, and that's right at the line of scrimmage. Preston and Hardy were the two big Rebels who were standing in the spot and come in and knock Green to the ground. May have lost a half yard on the play, but just nothing there that time as the big off the defensive front from West Monroe got penetration. Second down and 10 to go. The situation, Glass goes in motion. They hand it back this way to Allen, and Allen is tripped up from the back. A gain of one. It was Slocum. Matt Slocum. Matt Slocum did a fantastic job that time, Dennis, of reading the play, and coming up with the tackle and only a gain of a yard and a half so it's going to be third and long third and nine Matt Slocum what an outstanding talent he is good pursuit by the defensive line of the West Monroe Rebels the winner goes on to play in the semifinals and uh, not to be premature but uh, that game right there will decide who goes to the Superdome that's correct Cordero Green is behind Taylor. Taylor's rolling left. He's looking for somebody to throw to, and he's uh, not going to have a chance to throw because he's popped and hit hard in the backfield. At the 39-yard line, Taylor is on the ground for a loss 
and the Rebels have held the Vikings and Airline will kick it away to West Monroe. Nice job that time by the defensive front, that entire series by the Rebels as they just didn't give away anything. Fourth down and 12 is Van Buren. Goes deep for West Monroe. Fumbled it the first time, but got back on top of it. Easter is the putter for Airline. He kicks it, and this one is hitting the ground and rolling down about the 32-yard line. West Monroe will go to work right there at their own 32-yard line as the ball goes over to the West Monroe Rebels. Well, high school football fans, join us next Friday night as we will be live from one of the top semifinal games in the state. Friday night at 7 p.m. We hope the weather looks like that. It'll be a full moon. Hopefully we'll announce that game tonight, but if not, go to the CoxSportsTV.com website on Monday to find out where we'll be. But hopefully we'll know before the night is over. State semifinal live next Friday night on Cox Sports Television. Well, it's a big old hunter's moon in the in the air in Bossier tonight, and it's just a beautiful night for football. How would you know anything about a hunter's moon? Well, you guys were telling me on the... On we the saw the 10-point buck on I-49 today. For all you deer hunters who have spent many long days up at your deer stand, we were about uh, 50 miles south of Shreveport and saw a 10-pointer just trot down the side of I-49. Not, not, not a care in the world. The Rebels get the ball, and they'll hand it uh, to Gooden out to the left side. Gooden is hit, and he is swarmed on and getting tackled at the 35, but he's not down yet. Good still running, and the play is alive all the way to the 42. How in the world did he get out of those tackles? Not one tackle, but at least seven of the airline Vikings were grabbing at him and trying to get him to the ground. Well, that's where you would think you'd hear that, uh, that uh, inadvertent whistle, but you didn't get one that time, and watch this. There's an injured Viking down on the field that I don't think anyone knows anything about. But look at this. No whistle and he just keeps running. And they're gonna leave it right there and say the whistle did not blow and Mike Green's gonna tell his defense not to stop tackling until you hear the whistle blow. The injured Viking is Matt Taylor, 31, and Taylor is up. Coming up tonight at 8 p.m., it's the New Orleans Hornets and the Los Angeles Lakers live from the Staples Center. And the Hornets stop Kobe Bryant. Tune in beginning at 8 p.m. with Hornets tonight, followed by the call of the game. That's right here, the exclusive home of the New Orleans Hornets on Cox Sports Television. Good to see the Hornets the other night get off the snide, played very well up at Utah. Very good Utah Jazz team, and the Hornets won better. The pitch out is to Gooden. Gooden is... Still going, and they're not going to get him down before he gets inside the 25-yard line. And Gooden is slashing down to the 24, and the flag is flying in. Well, that's going to be another 15-yarder, and I think they might get the Rebels this time, but Dennis Gooden is good. <laughs> There's just all there is to it. The, the good in his name is for a reason. He's a good one. Well, he's a very smooth runner. He has a lot of speed, and he has a lot of strength. Frank Gooden, number five for West Monroe. Let's check the call. Have a dead ball foul on the offense, personal foul. 15 yards, be first and 10. Well, this is after the play, and he got the first down. Finish. So what you're going to have here is they'll walk off 15 from the end of the play, and I don't think that they're going to get what they wanted, which would have been a first and 25, but you're not going to get that. It's going to be it's going to be first and 10. And, and the whistle was blown, and yeah, I think that's what they got right there. The whistle had already blown, and the, and the block late. Nothing blatant, but just uh, hit him after the whistle. Back to the 38-yard line, but still a first down for the Rebels. And uh, Thomas is wanting to throw it this time, and he has a man that's trying to streak under the ball, and it's overthrown and incomplete as the Rebels try to get it way down the field of Middleton Beverage. 
was back there covering for the Vikings. Just ran straight up the scene. Don Shelves. As the first quarter comes to an end, talking to his fine quarterback, Drew Thomas, and 7-6. It's been a good one. It's the Team Angel Morgan Pontiac Buick GMC Truck. Golf South High School Game of the Week on Sports Television. 7-6, Vikings. Ooh. Mr. Wendy, unofficial spokesman, ah. knows Wendy's spicy chicken filet with its fiery blend of peppers and spices is so hot. Ooh. There's really only one way to eat it. Ooh. 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 Wendy's. Ooh. It's better here. Ooh. Wendy's pickup window is open till midnight or later. We're back in Bossier, Louisiana, on Hot Sports Television with Rob Mushmack. I'm Dennis McCain as we start the second quarter, and Thomas comes up under center. Second down, Bumble. and in the pitch is on the ground. And they got and it. And this time, I think the Vikings got it. There's a blue shirt on the ball at the 44-yard line, the 45. It's Williams who recovers it for Airline High School. right here. Thomas gets hit right when he goes to pitch it. Gooden can't come up with it and the Vikings are all over it. Shamari Clemens first down Vikings. Well, West Monroe has put the ball on the ground a couple of times tonight but they've been able to recover until that time and Williams got on it for the Vikings. So the second turnover of the night by the Rebels. So they'll line the uh, chains up and uh, then the official says, let's play it, men. And so the Vikings step in at the 44 yard line. And here's the pitch to Green and Green hustles out to the left side. and. He charges across the 45, and Green goes to the 48, where Slocum, Matt Slocum, is waiting for West Monroe in the white jerseys. Cardero Green, an outstanding season for the fine running back here at Airline High School. Green, only a junior, so another good year coming for him as a senior for Mike Green's Viking offense. The Vikings play at second down, and seven yards to go and Taylor hands off to Green again and Green is straight up the middle for yardage in the Terrell territory Green is across the 40 to the 39 it was uh, Giot who knocked him down for West Monroe Jordan Giot number 43 so Cardero Green starting to pick up the pace and most of the time, Dennis, the running back needs five, six, seven touches before he can get into the flow, and Green starting to get into the flow a little bit, Parker. That offensive line doing a good job trapping on the inside for Green. Taylor fumble, fumbles the ball, and there's a pileup. And a fight for the football, and the Vikings keep it at the 45. How, I don't know. There were Rebels all over the football, and the Vikings got it back. And guess who got it back? Cardero Green. Watch this. There were Rebels everywhere. And he just put, actually just pulled it right out of the hands of the big defensive lineman, Will Blackwell. And Blackwell, Blackwell had Cardero Green, then he had the football. Then Cardell Green took it from him, and Blackwell tried to take it back from him, but they're only going to lose five in three seconds and 15. Spotted at the 44-yard line, play. second and 15, and Green on the ground, the Rebels stayed at home. Townsend, Kyle Townsend, stayed right in uh, his position that time, and Green came back with a counter. Townsend was waiting for it. Kyle Townsend did a fantastic job that time of reading the play on the draw. And they're going to lose another yard, so third and long, third and... 16, nearly 17. 
for the Vikings, and this is not where they want to be. Lane Taylor may be a passing down for airline as they put a wide receiver to the right and to the left, and they put Allen in uh, motion, and then uh, Taylor that time just keeps it up the middle. Nothing fancy, but uh, safe play down to the 40-yard line, so the drive box down, well, and the Vikings Mike, will have to punt. What Mike Green's doing here is going to play a little field position. Is Didn't want to take a chance there on a turnover, so put it in the middle of the field, let your punter try and punt it inside the 10, and play a little field position with 12, with 9.04 to go in the first half. Fourth down and 13 for the Vikings. Slocum and uh, Hardy on the tackle for the Rebels. And in to punt it for the Vikings is Justin Easter. So they're looking for Easter to put something inside the 20 here and play a little field position with the Rebels. And he's hit a good one. A real and good Buren one. is watching that one as he's flying out of bounds. Now let's see where they uh, spot it. Well, the official will walk uh, back up the field and then he'll stop right there at the eight yard line. So a nice punt by the Vikings and the Rebels will start from their own eight yard line. Exactly what Mike Green wanted and not what Don Shells wanted. John Curtis leads Bozier seven to nothing in Shreveport. I checked that in Bozier, obviously. Yeah, that game just a, a, a couple of miles away. As a matter of fact, we saw back at Samstown a lot of the uh, John Curtis fans who have made their way from River Ridge down up or up to uh, Bozier and then uh, and then uh, up to uh, Shreveport and then over to Bozier for the game. So Don Shell looking for his offense to get it cranked up there, 92 yards away from the end zone, but two turnovers in the first half, one of those leading to the touchdown by airline. So the Rebels have been a little generous here in the first half. West Monroe from uh, their own eight, and Gooden uh, is slashing and darting out to the 18-yard line, and he has wide at 10 yards. It was Moore and Williams on the tackle, but uh, Gooden has the first down for the West Monroe Rebels. Just a misdirection that time to Gooden and found 11 on the far side. The stadium seats over 10,000 and uh, there's some standing, so you gotta believe that uh, this crowd is in excess of 11, somewhere near 12,000 and they're packed in here tight. This one is given to the up man. And uh, Banks has it that time, and Banks has a couple of yards for West Monroe. So we're seven to six, halfway through the second quarter. Brandon Banks getting some good work for the Rebels in the second down and six for Drew Thomas. Second down and a very long six to go for Thomas and the Rebels. And this time Gooden has it, and Gooden is bouncing off a couple of tacklers and moving the ball up to about two yards short of a first down. And he was hit uh, just about a yard up the field, but just kept going and picked up a couple of more. So third and about a yard and a half for West Monroe. Line defense hold. The crowd is up and they're making some noise. Third down and two to go for West Monroe. The pitch to Gooden. Gooden is looking for the first down. He has the first down. He has more and he's down the sideline until uh, somebody shows him the door and out of bounds he goes. It was Beveridge who ran him out of bounds at the 35 yard line, but that's enough for a first down for West Monroe. So the Rebels have moved it from their own eight. All on the ground out to the 35 and have another first and 10. First and 10 for the Rebels. The wind continues to blow very, very briskly out of the southeast. As you mentioned, Old Glory is straight out. 
And a lot of times you'll see the wind die down at night. It hasn't uh, died down in Bossier as of yet. Good. Van Buren stopped in his track. Only a gain of one as Van Buren is in the backfield. Horton, James Horton, hit him and uh, stopped him that time for the airline Vikings. Fullback to pass is blown and completed out to the left side as Middleton catches the football. Nate Middleton, but a good throw that time by Thomas as he put it right there where only uh, Middleton could catch it. And Middleton went down and made the catch two yards short of a first down. Three yards short of a first down as they mark it at the 42 yard line. So another third down for the Viking defense. 537 to go in the first half. The option play, the pitch to good, the big hit, the spin, and the first down is good is across the 45. First down, West Monroe. Great concentration by goodness. He was getting ready to get hammered and had to look the football into his hands as Thomas pitched it late. But he caught it. Travis Williams popped him, but he fell forward for the first down. And the Rebels keep the drive going. But Rob, good point, uh, because he had to catch the ball first, and Gooden did a good job of looking it in, knowing that he was going to be hit. The Rebels play it from their own 46-yard line and a first down, and the pass down the field. Here's and it's intercepted again. And it is a beverage, Chad. A beverage has another interception, and he's not done down the sideline. Beverage inside the 35 to the 32. Beverage just read it, dropped back into the coverage, went up, got it. And Airline has great field position, three turnovers now, and a late flag on the field back at the 19-yard line. There is a flag off the play. Beverage, Rob, is a very cagey defensive back. Dead ball after the interception, personal foul. West Monroe, first and the foul is going to be on the Rebels. So 15 more will be tacked on at the end of this. And Bev that was Thomas who put the helmet in there on Beveridge. But that's going to move Airline down to the 17-yard line after the personal foul is called on the Rebels. And boy, West Monroe. Looking good on that drive, moving it down the field, and all of a sudden, here's Airline setting up shop again inside the 20. Turnovers have hurt the Rebels tonight, and a young man by the name of Beveridge has been the man back here in the secondary. He read the quarterback perfectly on that pass and just slipped in front of the intended receiver, picked it off, and Beveridge does a good job lumbering with the ball down the field after he catches it all the way down after the personal foul to the 17-yard line. Here come the Vikings. Taylor motion is keeping out to the left and then cutting back to the middle of the field, but obvious motion and maybe five coming against the Vikings. Illegal motion on the offense. And they will get them for illegal motion, so a first and 15 now. But the reason why that's smart by Taylor to keep that play Still going and get it back to the line of scrimmage because if he can five yards, back three play first down. Refuse the penalty. And it's second down and 15. Mike Green. First down and about. You don't see him small much, but uh, there's Mike with a little smirk. Got to be happy with the way his defense is played here in the first half. Well, we have up a touchdown. We, we certainly applaud both teams who are playing very, very hard. What a great shot that is. A huge crowd ground level here. From Viking Stadium. Here's a bootleg, and Taylor is breaking loose, and he's getting that five yards back. And he'll add uh, three to the carry, and inside the 15-yard line he goes, setting up, setting up uh, seven yards to go. It was Preston and Good play fake, and 
nearly had him for a loss, but he broke free, picked up positive yardage. Second down. Got back the penalty plus three, so it's second down and seven. Well, that time uh, Taylor was slowed in the backfield, but he broke that tackle. And uh, down inside the 15 he goes. Looks like uh, the Rebels, yeah, they, I mean, the uh, Vikings have brought in the heavy personnel. They've got the, the beef in there. They were coming with a tight formation on the Team Angel Morgan Pontiac Buick GMC Truck Gulf South High School Game of the Week from Bossier City, Louisiana on a Louisiana Friday night. Ranked in the top 1% of real estate agents in the world, Team Angel promises unprecedented service focused on the client. Misha and David Angel, J.R. Burt, and Mike Anderson are the hardworking members of Team Angel who will help you find the home of your dreams. Like this beautiful family home in Stonebridge, on the golf course. Team Angel's marketing portfolio includes dream homes in every price range and area. Call Team Angel at Prudential Preferred Properties. And tonight's game is also proudly brought to you by Morgan Pontiac Buick GMC Truck located I-220 and Benton Road in Bossier next to Airline High School. Well, there's the uh, flag that we've been talking about. The American flag as it flies in Bossier. City, Louisiana, a proud city and very patriotic. Second down, seven to go for the Vikings as Taylor is calling out his cadence and maybe changing the play and then handing off.